We hear the terms sentiment analysis and topic modeling throughout this process. I asked Nolan to give us definitions of both sentiment analysis and topic modeling and to explain the differences between the two. Yes, sentiment analysis is um, uh, an algorithm that's used to identify the emotional polarity of a response. And so when we look at a, a particular written, uh, whether that's a sentence or a paragraph, our objective in sentiment analysis is to understand the emotion behind that particular um, piece of text. We're trying to identify the text as a proxy for the, the satisfaction or dissatisfaction of a respondent. When we look at that, we typically identify that as a positive response, a neutral response, or a negative response. We code it in the kind of one of those categories. Now, behind the scenes, the algorithm will identify numeric values behind that level of satisfaction or dissatisfaction. We can use those um, with traditional statistical techniques um, to identify uh, if a particular set of responses are um, more uh, negative or more positive than another subset of responses. But that doesn't necessarily tell you what's driving the satisfaction or dissatisfaction. So sentiment analysis limitations is it's a providing you with a, a categorization of the text. It's also providing you some numerical values to identify whether there's statistical differences. But it's not telling you the drivers of the satisfaction or dissatisfaction. And that's what we can do with topic modeling. Topic modeling identifies particular words or phrases that are common among particular responses that are driving satisfaction or, or dissatisfaction. So here's just one particular example I have on the slide. And, and when we look at these responses, we kind of uh, identify them as far as their information richness. How many words are they using to describe their satisfaction or dissatisfaction? And what specifically are they talking about? And this one response that we have on the screen, if we looked at it from a sentiment analysis point of view, we'd see this as highly positive. You know, they, they provided five stars and, and they used a lot of terms in here that would you know, indicate that they were excited and satisfied with the product. But then the next question is, well, what's driving that satisfaction? And as we look into the text, we can see particular responses there where they talk about the product itself, you know, that it's tasty, that it, it, they like the, the chocolate aspects of this, that they compare that to another similar product they talk about with shredded wheat. This gives us a lot more information than simply categorizing it as a dissatisfied or satisfied customer. We can now understand what's driving the satisfaction and make those particular aspects of our service or product stronger or we can identify what is driving the dissatisfaction and work on remedying those particular items. So topic um, uh, modeling goes hand in hand with sentiment analysis to allow us to, once we've identified dissatisfaction or satisfaction, figure out what actions to take to either improve on our product or to continue to make the, the, the drivers of satisfaction stronger. So there you have some of the detail behind the data preparation phase for this project. The next phase is model development. Thank you.